Weren't you talking about the NFL on your Twitter? Aren't they starting to find for legal yeah. hard hits? Yeah, football is not. Yeah, they're going to ruin it. They're going to ruin it. Legal hard. The dude from Pittsburgh. People thought is I was crazy. No, you're so, right, Patrice. It, it, they're going to ruin it. It's, it's, over. it's the reason we watch it to hope somebody gets. And, <laughs> and, and they, they you know Mark Sheriff, or Sheriff. I don't yeah. know how to, but he says something so hilarious. He goes on. NFL has tapes called hardest hits ever. Right. And then they do the top ten hardest hitters ever. Right. right. Yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 it's not, and then somebody else said something that the, Mike Dicka and some other old coach said, take the helmets off. Yeah, and well, them motherfuckers will stop fucking hitting like Paterno, Paterno, <laughs> Paterno. Paterno. Paterno said oh, take the face mask off. Right. He or, said leave the helmet, but take the or, face mask off. Or just, off. Go, with, just go with the leather fine. helmets. Yeah, uh, that, meet in between. The old fucking, yeah, Meet in between with school. the leather helmets. And you'll figure out, because you know what? You watch rugby. Brilliant. It's football without. Oh, yeah. No, it ain't. They, now I'll tell you why. I hate that comparison. This, Dude, they are hitting. Rugby's they, a little sport. They te- first of all, it's not. It's th- not. First of all, you. All right, well, can I can I yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. finish you yeah. cocksuckers? <laughs> the, the proof nah, that you can but play. If you got it. <laughs> 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 you asshole. <laughs> How many black six foot six, three hundred eighty pound black guys that run a four five forty do you see playing rugby? Try tackling one of those yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Where is you go. Go. He just killed your argument. Not, not, fucking no. English. And the fact, those, you have to wear equipment are to play six, football. Four, yeah. I know they are, and, they and they're white, and they arm and tackle, and they arm tackle I used like to, girls. I used to say that they didn't <laughs> tackle those fucking guys. Nothing like nothing like football. It's not explosion because they'll kill each other. No, well, that's, that's just it. You they hit as hard as they can on, hit without the, equipment. The fact that you don't wear equipment proves that it's not as rough. If you played football without equipment, you'd have three deaths every what week. What is that music? I don't think so. I don't think you so. You don't think so? No. Tatum over the middle, you catch a pass? Is someone getting a phone What's call? What's going on? That's betrayed. Your fucking music. Oh, my God. <laughs> what Hilarious. Is some kind of music. I know. It's a soundtrack from when we were kings every time he gets a phone call. <laughs> 22 inch so, woofers in his phone. So, so now they're going to find Jesus. guys for legal hits. Yes. That That's crazy. They, it's so funny. They go, you know, hitting, it's, the rule is called hitting a defenseless receiver. Every time a guy catches a ball, he's defenseless. Right. And always will be. Right. That's when you unload on him. That's why we started <laughs> watching football. Yeah. I was a strong safety in fucking high school, and that's why I played. You've. Guys are defenseless. You fucking lay them out. You hit I love them, you try to, to <laughs> They, they the interview Ray Lu- uh, Suggs, the other guy for the for uh, they entered a couple of the Ravens, and they, they go, uh, I don't give a crap. What are they going to do? I'm going to I'm still knocking mothers out. <laughs> that was their interview this week. You see that I'm guy still going to knock guys out. What? That, that guy Harrison from Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. He's putting motherfuckers out. Out. Yeah. Out. Every game he's knocking a motherfucker La- out. Last weekend was the most vicious weekend. There was like five incidents. What do you mean? Did you see the Atlanta it, it game? Was, Both was, guys were unconscious before they hit the ground. The guy who did the was, hit and the guy get it, hit. It was vicious because, for some re- first of all, why are they doing this? Because it's never for the benefit of the fucking play. It's something. Yeah, yeah. I, because I, I see things. Insurance. It's something going on. Cause it's the advertising. I've seen some on HBO about the old players. It's a feminized and world. Fucking, yeah. Their yeah. fucking knuckles is poking out of their wrists. <laughs> and they <laughs> fucker can't get up in the morning. Because <laughs> Night Train Lane was fucking hitting them with his form. And that's what we wanted. We wanted you to destroy yeah, yourself. That's what we want. What we watch. <laughs> well, you know what's happened, though, Patrice? <laughs> well, what do you think it is? I'll is tell it you what it is. Sorry. No, well. I I'll yeah, tell you what's yeah. changed it. Yeah, yeah I'm uh, sure that's part of it, and that and the feminized culture that we fucking live in. Mm. So a few kids get paralyzed. Big fucking deal. Let's play the game. <laughs> but, you but, uh, lose one every once in a while. No, exactly. For our entertainment. But, what, but what's happened is, you know, steroids were introduced into the game. Now you get guys yeah. six five three ten running a four two forty, and uh, joints. Your joints weren't meant to take that. <laughs> Some guy. Seriously, that's why you're seeing injuries and astroturf. Mm-hmm. When you get hit on astroturf, your foot doesn't give. That's why you have people blowing their knees out. <laughs> their, their bodies. You weren't most. So why do they go back to grass? Huh? That would help because a bit. again, that's a money thing. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot cheaper for cheaper turf. I always thought it was insane they turf. played on turf. But it makes, but it makes for a better hit. It makes for it makes for a more vicious game. Like I like the mud and stuff, but I'd rather watch a game on on AstroTurf. I love muddy the, games. The, the mud games, <laughs> but the hitting rolled. is much more crisp on uh, oh, AstroTurf. Yeah, yeah, it's you a lot just more like solid. Yeah. Like, huh? So why don't you just put a flag on everybody and they take the flag <laughs> and then the man stops running? Flag football. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> it really, That's where we're going. Going. It is getting a bunch of bitches. It's, it's not. I guess to I, I, I hear what's I going to happen. I, I don't, I'm trying to figure out how do as a football player. Yeah. Because I remember. 
remember what's his name there? Uh, Kiwanuka or Yumi, one of the guys from yeah. the Giants. One of the guys from England. He made a play, right? Mm-hmm. We, we, he got to the quarterback and stopped. <laughs> remember that shit? We, he, 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 he didn't hit the quarterback, and it was Vince Young. And he didn't. Vince Young was getting ready to throw it, but he didn't throw he it. He pulled up. And and and, and he. Didn't. Well, they just go like, oh, he, I know what you're going to do. Wanna, you know what I'm going to do. Let's just stop it right he here. He didn't want to get a a fucking uh, a penalty, uh, uh, right? So he didn't tackle the guy, and everybody's screaming at him. But I'm sitting there going, Oh yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, blame yeah. The fucking I remember guy. that. Because that that's what they're doing now. They're fucking penalizing. There was one hit this week that I think was a little bit fucked up. Was uh <laughs> the Patriots guy. That's that's it. The Patriots guy, because the dude had already fucking dropped the ball, but he was still in the air. Yeah, Merriweather uh, left his feet. And he fucking he left his feet. <laughs> he jumped up at the same height. With this fucking yes, guy. he did. He left his uh, feet. And, and uh, what's his name? <laughs> uh, 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 who's the coach? Uh, For who? Patriots. Uh, uh, you know Belichick. Belichick goes. He looks at the guy and he just he's like, "What the Rolled fuck? What's <laughs> wrong with you?" He like, left he his was feet. Even, he was even like, "What the? That's not football, you asshole!" Like, oh, shit. but, but it is. Else? That's what everyone wants to see. Yeah. That's how I played. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> I really did. I, anybody that wasn't paying attention and the whistle hadn't blown, I'd fucking I get a forty yard run and just fucking I was as dirty as they come. Oh, safeties, <laughs> safeties can be the most vicious. Jack Jack Tatum was I, I played what they call him a monster back. I was strong safety slash linebacker. My first priority was pass, but I lined up next to linebackers. It was the best position ever. That was your best. Your best player would be that position. The Monday the, we call it a Raider, which that's is right. a hybrid. <laughs> That's a right. hybrid uh, linebacker slash safety. Like a, too little to be like a middle. That's right. But he had the attitude of a middle, and you could just hit on <laughs> little take, baby like mis- receivers. Nick Ray's, yeah. Ray's in his hand over there. <laughs> Only thing that bothers me is is please stop with the prayer hands. Oh. I don't want prayer circles, and nope. I don't want the the visiting crowd to be quiet after yeah, you get yeah. fucked up. You should be like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no can thumbs I add up. One, can I add one thing? That how long is Breast Cancer Awareness Month? It's longer than Black History Month. Got to watch every guy fucking felon dressed in pink. It's, it's creepy that to that see him in pink. Yeah, yeah, that's what that shit is. It's some woman's movement once uh, again sticking their fucking beak in. Can we put well, an emblem on the field? In. <laughs> I'm not saying. Look, I'll, I'll send money. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I'll, 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 I'll so send money to a Breast Cancer Awareness. I'll donate money. White my, people got 10 more months. I'm just saying. Like it's, it's white history year, my- give, me, give a nigga a month and give, and give bad titties a month, too. Yeah, but the pink the is, fuck is, wrong with the pink is what we have a problem with. It's the pink. My, my goalie's yeah, going to yeah. be wearing pink goalie pants. No, exactly. And it's go, hockey. It, it's enough already. Put an emblem on the field. We get it. It's yeah, symbolism. Yeah, yeah. Sure. But Jesus Christ. we Pink everything And up. once again, because it's an all-male thing, they just it's the same reason they have broads on the sideline, just letting you know that they hire women. It's really a fucking horrible time to be white heterosexual men. Yeah, yep. You don't Absolutely. Like you don't like the broads on the sidelines either, right? <laughs> I hate that well, shit. Pussies. Pam Oliver doesn't offer any, anything. anything. Thank I don't you. hate her, but she doesn't offer I do. Anything. I hate it because I know why she got the job. Exactly. Or, or these girls got the yeah, job. Because they look good on TV. No, because they're knowledge of a 3-4 defense. Yeah, really sure. <laughs> Let's go to Susie Kolber, a little Jewish woman, and tell me how a 4-3 defense works. Yo, what are we going to go to fucking Ray Lewis for daycare tips? <laughs> What a That's backwards, a upside down fucking world. Uh, PU with your fucking political <laughs> P-U. correctness. Language. You fucking liberals are done November. You're gonna take it right oh, in the ass. But Thank do you God. think? Do you think it's women in terms of like football? Do they are they getting uh, together to make football less violent? It, the only, no, the no. only setup would be no. that they would make it less violent so they can play with men so, somehow. Well, they Christ. have their own league now. Well, yeah, it's great. not the players, right? Like the lingerie one is beautiful. No, because oh Ray Lewis needs to be able to fuck you up. Yeah, the players don't want less violence, obviously. Quarterbacks can't be touched. It's society as a whole, though. It's creeping in. PC yeah, but... is creeping in everywhere. There's what, you know what I mean? You said creeping? Creeping in. Yeah, <laughs> what's creeping? <laughs> okay, it's not creeping. It's a it's full blown. Yeah, I, full I blown. wish it was just creeping. Then we'd, we'd have a shot. Yeah. To but, but, push but, it back. We, we only have ourselves to blame. Yeah. Fucking, you know what I mean? I yeah. Just go, no, no fucking pink gloves, no fucking emblem. Uh, By the way, I don't think that hockey player should have got stuck fucking in lost. Dude, don't even get me started. The blowjob gesture? No, the guy, the guy, gets... nah, the guy that roughed up the dude on the sideline for a second gave him, a, gave him the. Uh, 
what are you grab him, snatched him up, and they they're gonna suspend him probably about ten games or so. Wait, which which, which uh, one was the fan? Yeah, the fucking guy grabbed the fan. Yeah, I think he should be able to grab <laughs> fans. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Who's I really the basketball do. player that ran into the fucking Artest. stands? That was a whole nother fucking. Oh, hell oh my god, I love that Ron too. Was somebody was guy talking about his daughter? Somebody was talking about somebody. No, 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 that was on the. He Trailblazers. Got hit, he got hit with uh, beer. Yeah, with glass yeah, of so beer. Like, no, no, no. This was in the Trailblazers. One of the Portland Trailblazers railed it because somebody was talking about the daughter or something. Some death thing that a fan was heckling them with, and they fucking ran up and attacked them. You know what? Hundred percent of the times when the fans are attacked, they deserve it. No, absolutely. But, but they, I would say a hundred. Yeah, no one's ever gotten attacked just for going go right. team because we've all been to <laughs> sporting events. You see these guys. The Artest thing that was so funny because amazing. It, he, but he went after the wrong guy. There was like right? a white guy just minding his business. He, he fucked and up. He, a little and Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy was like, like, hey. He, he had this look of fright because there was a guy behind him that threw the cup yeah, of beer. Yeah, yeah. He's like, man, and I, I didn't test do thought it was shit. this little white guy. It was the funniest guy. Yeah, the look on that guy's face, he was petrified. <laughs> Patrice, is what's it, up? Isn't football a, a gladiator? Yes, isn't, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole yeah, absolutely. Thing, yes, it a whole thing. Yes, A spectacle that those guys know that yeah. there's a risk and it's a life and death kind of. Yes, it's just I like agree. MMA. It's yep. really. A gladiator thing. It's mm -hmm. entertainment. Yes, it is. Can we go back to the hockey it's thing, though? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't know the incident, Patrice, with the hockey guy. What do you mean? With the fan. How did that happen? He it's, walked. It's, he walked out. The guy was doing something. It's tough something. to get to the fans in hockey. It. it well, no, the, he was. He got kicked out the game, and he was walking. And, oh, okay. Through the and breezeway. And the dude was talking. Leaning, you know, he was clapping and saying something to the guy. Right. And the fucker just snatched nice. him up. And he let him go. He didn't hit him. But now, even ba once, if Barry Melrose. Says it's bad, then it's like he's going to get suspended. He has to say that. He has he's a to spokesman right. he for has the to, league. Right. Right. Meanwhile, he's laughing. And off that's camera. the thing about about sportscasters now. They they've become they're horrible fucking yeah. pussies. Like, yes, they I, have. I, they the worst. That too. The worst. Dan Deardorff, who used to be like one of the dirtiest players <laughs> yeah. for the for the Cardinals in the seventies. He was the most vicious, one of the most vicious play. Him and Conrad Dobler, two dirtiest linemen in the history of the NFL. <laughs> now he's like, oh, that was on call for that face <laughs> oh, mask. Was it? They got to watch this stuff. Yeah. Now he's <laughs> uh, such bullshit. People of Rome, Maximus Beryllius <laughs> will be wearing a pink shield today <laughs> yeah. for breast cancer. Yeah. Awareness Month. Are you not entertained? As he takes on the, uh, the horde. Can't we just with, write a with check? With fucking Nerf swords. <laughs> yeah, with Nerf swords. Just. <laughs> it's something. Get look at. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Caesar's giving a thumbs down for that uh, gladiator. PC, this isn't good. Yeah, this is. isn't good. You can't hit. I'm gonna tell you the most vicious hit I've ever seen Kermit was on Washington. fucking Kermit Washington. Remember that punch? Knocking out f Tom Donovan. That's right. Holy shit. That Face shattered like a plate. <laughs> like a China, China well, plate you dropped in a driveway. Because they were both <laughs> running at each other. No. That was the one where it was Kermit Washington <laughs> was running toward him as well. What a great place to drop a plate. <laughs> you can't not break a plate in the driveway. <laughs> it's impossible. No saving it. <laughs> yeah, I say that because I dropped a pizza stone once at somebody gave me like 10 minutes later <laughs> for a gift. What the fuck's right. a pizza stone? You cook pizza on it. Put it in your oven and huts up. Heats up like a... Huts up? How it fucking... Up. Hello? Oh. Hello? <laughs> it's a big flat rock to make better pizza? Yes. You should have dropped it. <laughs> should have thrown it at him. What kind of shit gift is this? Mushroom rock. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Jimmy gets annoyed though. I love what it. What a horrible oh, gift. Rock. What are you talking about? You can do your laundry on it down by the river? Exactly. <laughs> Great thing to bludgeon an old woman with her own pizza stone. <laughs> Greatest hit ever, Kermit Washington. Uh, Sam Huff on Frank Gifford. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Sam Sam Huff on Frank Gifford. You got the wrong guy. Is it what's his name? Chuck Bednarik. It was it Bednarik? Yes. With a with a shoulder pad was the hardest hit I've ever really? seen. A shoulder pad made of pillows too. It wasn't it wasn't a it wasn't helmet to helmet. It was. It was. He they used to. The they used to hit you nasty with your shoulder back then. It was d really dirty. Oh. Nice. Yeah. How about how like about Sammy that. White going over the middle in the Vikings Raiders Super Bowl and and Tatum laying him out? Remember his helmet? Jack pop? Tatum was. He was the best ever. The guy should be in the Hall of Fame. Para he was my idol. He was paralyzing motherfucker. He was the baddest <laughs> motherfucker ever. You was gonna get paralyzed. You fucking around over he the was, middle. He was. He was. He was five foot ten. Listen, to this, five wow. foot ten, two hundred twenty pounds. Ran a four four forty. That's like a little missile. And he looked. And he was as vicious as he grew up in the same project as George Foreman. George Foreman used to beat him up and take his lunch money. Did he really? Yeah, it was in the that's book. A true story. Uh, they call me assassin. Yeah. Oh, that's George funny. Foreman used to beat him up and take his lunch money. I guess he fucking but got pissed off. But this guy that, huh? was a badass. <laughs>
That show. Same George Foreman for all the... No shit. All the, <laughs> all the broken really star all. Just, His family should sue George yeah. Foreman. Daryl St <laughs> Stingley's Stingley. family is fucking uh, making food on the George Darryl Foreman Stingley. grill. <laughs> Can I get another Thank panini? You. Thank you, George Foreman, you motherfucker. <laughs> I cannot walk now because of George Foreman. Tatum. <laughs> Tatum just died, right? He, he, yes. he just died. He was my favorite, and they had another guy, George Atkinson, who was the cornerback that played with him. He... He was number 43. He owns, he owns a liquor store in Oakland. Give you an idea. Uh, oh, wow. But he, uh, a set of balls. He, <laughs> How often do you get robbed? <laughs> when the Raiders and Steelers played, when the Raiders and Steelers played, do you remember Len Swan went out for a pattern? He wasn't even in the play. He's just running a pattern. Tatum comes up from behind with a forearm. Late, oh, knocks him out. Shit. He's not even in the play. Knocks him unconscious. But the dude they, for the Pittsburgh Steelers was even worse. Mel, than, no, Mel nobody Blunt. was worse than the Raiders. Mel Blunt. He was a mean. They started rules for Mel Blunt. No, right. It was the Raiders. Mel no, Blunt I used hear to more about beat your fucking ass. That's he started the he was five a, he, yard he was, rule. He was a, he was a real but bad. But get back to the Lin Swan thing. The, well, he just laid him out. It was the second and play of the game. he wasn't even in the play. And, and then when the, when the Patriots played the Raiders in the 70s in a playoff game, AFC Championship, first play of the game, George Atkinson runs up and punches Russ Francis in the nose and breaks his nose <laughs> for no reason at all. Just to, like a street fight. Wang! And they had it on replay. They showed it like eight times. <laughs> Russ Francis runs off. Big tight end nose all bloody. <laughs> no fucking suspensions back then. <laughs> they, no, what was Pete Rosell doing? They, <laughs> but, oh, they, they went to court. They, they went to court because of the, the, uh, because of the Len Swan hit. They actually went to court and they put Chuck Knoll on the stand and they asked him, is, <laughs> Does your team have a criminal element? And this is the Steelers. They weren't as wow. dirty as the Ra and he goes, "Yeah, we we, we do have criminals." Was the criminal element? Was the same guy? He was a mother too. He was a too. piece of oh. shit. What fucking happened? <laughs> like what happened no. from then till that, now? But it didn't. Now they're wearing you, pink. It you think Jack, Jack Tatum would have wore pink it's on the field? Been, it's only been me? um fucking thought he would have been like, I oh fuck <laughs> their titties. <laughs> Paralyzing nigga. <laughs> that was Patrice, by the way. Yeah, he's a lot to say. The yeah. no only pink you're gonna see when it opens somebody's head. <laughs> yeah. God, it's it so hard you wind up the next week or something. <laughs> Oh, stop it. Fucking chip. <laughs> Steelers, Raiders in the 70s. Minute. There well, was nothing who better. Was the guy for the, nothing right. better. Who was the guy yeah. for San Francisco? Which one? What uh, year? I'll tell the you. Safety. Uh, it was Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott, who cut okay. off his own finger. He had a busted finger, and they was like, you got to lead the game. He got nah. He cut it off. Yeah. He had it cut off and wrapped up so he could finish Holy the game. Shit. The yeah. I'm telling you. But it didn't start getting bad. Wait, I know wait, that, wait. You can't just casually say that. I don't well, know the story. Well, it's a story. He busted I, I really it. He this. broke his pinky. Yeah, because Jimmy's look some, was priceless. In some weird way. On the field. And they were like, oh, we got to take He says, no, fuck that. Cut it off. He cut off his... Why couldn't he play with a, cut a off crooked... like a knuckle? Finger, I don't though. know. I think it was inf would have been infected. It was a, re a request by it. his wife. He, <laughs> <laughs> he, he actually cut off the head. tip of his finger. Yeah, and during not, the game. You know, Matt sure. Mellon, we, we talk about the broadcast turning into pussies. Matt Mellon, you know, he's the guy that was the GM for the Detroit for the last 10 years. Um, he signed his letter of intent in blood when he went to Penn State. <laughs> Wow. Dude was he, saying, man. He, he gets recruited by Maryland, right? At, at a, goes down to Maryland to visit this, you know, out of high school to, to visit Maryland. Him and the, the strength and conditioning coach have a, a, a bench bench lifting comp competition, and uh, Matt Mellon ends up beating him up in a fight. <laughs> which, He's up which, a coach that's recruiting which, him. Which, by the way, <laughs> is why fucking Jim Brown. Is the baddest motherfucker that Yeah, ever he's a badass. I hope he bad. dies, though. Yeah. Because Matt Millen... <laughs> racist piece of shit. <laughs> Jim Brown? Racist, <laughs> wife-beating piece a, of he's shit. He's a racist. He's a racist with his I hate he white people hat. Of course! <laughs> It's for I anybody wear, that wears a kofi. What is this, so, Nigeria? I would <laughs> wear Kenty cloth drawers. Holy he used to play. He used to play where a white boy stomped on his nuts every time he got tackled <laughs> it was a, and called him coon. <laughs> and your point is? Take that coon. Is this what you be? No, but he was racist to him. He was a badass back then. You think any white person had the balls to? Come God on, damn he was a badass. Holy shit! I didn't know Nick knew so much about football. I, I, no I, I it's all I knew. everything about it. I, I was obsessed you know with it for years. Now Amazing. I can't stand the NFL. It's, it's frustrating. Right? Do you guys, is it on? Say, can nah, I say that? It. I, it don't cares. matter. It's, yeah. it, start, it doesn't it matter at this point. It's it's the worst. It started no. with the to. It, it, you can feel it with the horse collar rule. Once they put the horse collar, I agree, Trace. Absolutely, I go, something's wrong because the horse collar. 
My thing is, how are you supposed to tackle a guy from is behind? Six five. That's right. Mm. Two twenty five. All right. muscle. How the fuck are you go if, without trying Piggy to take his him. knees out? Yeah, you yeah, need yeah. to fucking take his knees out and ride his back to get him down. Unless you tag him. How about this? Maybe they could have something hanging off the shirt that you could grab. Because a lot of guys did get hurt. You know, horse collar from behind. It, it, maybe yeah. they could like leave like a six-inch rope so you could. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? You could yank Whoa, him. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Nelly. A long, hard stick you can hit his foot with. <laughs> like, if, why are we figuring this shit out? Because you're supposed to be able to jump on the back of this motherfucker's head. Take him down, That's right? Take him down. But a lot of guys. Down. But I do understand how that rule came about because I saw more guys getting fucking hurt in their knees and ankles. You know, getting tackled from behind. Fuck I understand, him. but I, I agree. It's it's gladiator sport. It yeah. comes with it. When you come over the middle, you might get knocked out. And par that's part of football. Yeah, it's the yeah. reason people watch. Yeah, yeah it's it, not it, arm it, tackling. Must I yeah. say? Can I say this too? It's bullshit because it's 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 fake legislation. It's not how people really feel. It's just like, hey, that's what's let's everything. Stop this. Yeah, that's the, whole, that's, world, that's the whole world. It's like everybody's yeah. sitting there. You said that about rape laws. Everybody's sitting there <laughs> fucking <laughs> pretending like they don't want to see motherfuckers get hit. But yeah. but but if, if, if that was the case, back in the days where the hits was brutal and you weren't getting up, people would go, oh, this has to stop. Yeah, we got to stop this, that. This has to stop. Yeah, why didn't they no, but that? it's more brutal now than ever. The, the NFL, oh, yeah, the guys I are so much faster agree. and bigger. Well, People are getting laid out. This past weekend, I couldn't believe what they were showing. Yeah. The Tampa Bay-Atlanta game, this guy coming over the middle, this guy hit him, so he, he must have got a 30-yard run. They were both <laughs> unconscious in midair. The guy that did the hitting and the guy that caught the ball, their arms were like, you know how their arms, gotta see that Patrice, clip. you know how they get this, ever see when a guy gets knocked out, their arms get locked yeah. up? They're both... There's a picture in the paper. They're both Just horizontal, and their arms are already in this position. Wow. Good. And, and then the kid get paralyzed at Rutgers yeah. this week. I mean, it, but that was a complete, yeah. like, mistake, though. It was, was a like, kind of a freak accident. Yeah, but, was a, but he's 275 action. pounds, a kid. He's, right, he's on kickoff he, He's on kickoff coverage he's team. He's on kickoff. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's how fast these guys a are. Giant. You couldn't catch him. Yeah. You couldn't catch him. Well, he what happened four, seven, He, he oh, tackled paralyzed. the guy, lowered his oh, head, and he hit the run. The guy with the He's ball done. just hit him wrong, and it just yeah. it's horrible. It stinks, that story. Your your neck, it is. It's horrible. Neck. Football's it. in trouble, though, man, because these guys are getting too big and too strong. They have to. Here's the thing. Somebody <clears> made a good point. I was on the way in here. They were talking about it on another show, but it's it's true. that The, the guy's huge. And the field is still the same size. It's almost the argument they make in the NBA, how big the guys are. They haven't changed the size of the field. You know what I mean? If you gave them a little more room. Little more room. So <laughs> they play in Canada, the Canadian, uh, the giant Maybe, field. maybe. I don't know, you know. But then again, that gives a guy who's doing the hitting more of a head start. Yeah, yards is a, a lot of room. Start. Exactly. If yeah. I get a good angle. Yeah, you're going to really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, just Harrison has a better angle. Then he had just he fucking runs full speed. Like fucking soccer field size. Then he could really. And hits that little <laughs> Maurice Jones drew. This is when I knew Jack Tatum was a badass. Earl Campbell, who was the, my favorite running back of all time, he'd run over people. He could run around you. He, he was 235, by the way. Ran like a sub 4 440. He ran into Jack Tatum on the goal line, head on. I mean, head on collision, helmet on helmet. Oh, when he spins around? He, uh, he spins around, falls in the end zone. Uh, uh, Earl Campbell does. Doesn't get up. Tatum's just standing over him. <laughs> I mean, he fell in the end zone, but, but Tatum just walks away. Earl Campbell's down for like five minutes. And this guy used to run over, you know, defensive yeah, players yeah. like they were little girls. When I, <laughs> he never even put his arms out, Tatum. Just clang, helmet on helmet. Wow. helmet the guy must have a cement head, man. <laughs> what about Too Tall Jones? Guy that doesn't know football. What about uh, that guy? Tall that guy, guy like that tall. knocking around. <laughs> <laughs>